The Story of Josiah Gilbert, Part 1 William Gilbert had been born in Osgathorpe in 1819 and his wife, Jane Barsby, in Rothley in 1823. They were married at Breeden in 1848. William and Jane's first child, Sarah Ann, was born the following year and son James in 1850, both born in Osgathorpe. At the time of the 1851 census, William was a blacksmith and the family were living in Osgathorpe. There followed the birth of another two daughters, Mary Jane and Elizabeth, and another son, William. Josiah Gilbert was baptised on the 6th of May 1866 in Osgathorpe, the sixth child of William, listed on the record as a farmer, and Jane. Sadly, Jane died in 1866, and William married Elizabeth Hodgkinson two years later, and the birth of Thomas and Lucy followed. Sadly, Elizabeth appears to have died around 1870. The 1871 census return for Osgothorpe lists the widowed William, a blacksmith and farmer, living with six of his eight children. Sarah Ann, the eldest, had married and was living just down the road, and James was living with his uncle, a grocer and grazier, on Long Street, Belton, where James was the grocer's apprentice. The three older children, Mary, Elizabeth and William, were listed on the census as scholars. At the time of the 1881 census return, the family was living on what was listed as Village Street, Osgathorpe, where daughter Elizabeth was housekeeping for the family, son William was now working as a railway clerk, and the three younger children were scholars. Meanwhile, James had risen to the position of assistant grocer at his uncle's grocery shop in Belton. In 1891, Josiah was listed as living with James and James's family, so wife Harriet and four-month-old daughter Harriet Ethel, on Long Street, Belton, where James was a grocer and baker and Josiah was his older brother's assistant. In 1901, James and Harriet's family had grown to include another daughter, Gladys Elizabeth. Josiah, now aged 35, was still assisting his brother in the grocery and bakery business. The 1901 census was taken on the 31st of March, just three weeks before the first bands of marriage between Josiah Gilbert and Sarah Newbold, both born in Osgothorpe, was read. Following the posting of a further two bands on the 28th of April and the 5th of May, the couple were married. Josiah was aged 35 and Sarah 30. Josiah and Sarah celebrated the birth of their son, William Handley Josiah Gilbert, on the 23rd of February 1902 in Markfield, the birth being registered at Market Bosworth. In 1903, Josiah was listed on the electoral register as the owner of a dwelling house on Main Street, Markfield. This listing continues into subsequent years until 1911, and the family appear on the 1911 census return living on Main Street, Markfield, where they live and work from the same property. The business is a grocery and bakery store where Sarah assists her husband, while son William is a scholar. In 1912, Josiah appears on the Register of Electors as he now owns a property, a dwelling house, in Loughborough, number 29 Cumberland Road. His ownership of number 65 Cumberland Road is confirmed by an entry in the local Register of Electors for 1913. Number 29 Cumberland Road, Loughborough. Number 65 Cumberland Road, Loughborough. On the 16th of January 1913, Josiah Gilbert, baker and grocer, now of number 65 Cumberland Road, makes a will, leaving household furniture and effects, money in the bank, the property on Main Street Markfield, which he held on mortgage, as well as all other properties, wheresoever and whatsoever, in his name, to his wife Sarah. This will was witnessed by neighbours on Cumberland Road, Samuel Ward at number 55, and immediate neighbour Isaac Stedmanese at number 63. 
So from what we have gathered so far, not only is Josiah a baker and grocer, he also seems to be a property owner, clearly owning more than one house. The 1914 local register of Alexis reveals that Josiah also now has a property on Empress Road, listed as a dwelling house. This property, number 77, is also a shop, and Josiah is still running the corner grocery shop at the time the 1915 register was taken. A view of the corner shop at number 77 Empress Road. The houses in the area of Empress Road in which the shop was situated had grown up around the extensive Herbert Morris factory, previously known as Herbert Morris and Bastert, and which had moved to Loughborough from Sheffield in 1897. Between 1890 and 1930, the number of employees rose from 50 to around 2,000, making Herbert Morris one of Loughborough's biggest employers. It is reasonable to suppose that, that any local corner shop sited opposite such a large factory with so many workers likely to visit would ensure a thriving business and make a good living for its proprietor. Part of the Herbert Morris factory on Empress Road. However, the new year of 1916 proved catastrophic for the Gilbert family, as indeed it did for many other families and individuals in Loughborough. 